Hello everyone, I'm Trishon. I'm the owner of Big Deal Hair Extensions. If you're new to my channel, I do sell raw Indian hair and more. If you're interested in those things, you can go to BigDealHairExtensions.com. I wanted to come to you guys today to talk about goals. So we are in the home stretch. We are almost to a close for 2019. And the end of the year is when a lot of people decide to start working on those goals for the new year. So me personally, I feel like there is no right or wrong time to start working on goals. I feel like you can start working on your goals in the middle of July, okay? I feel like you don't have to wait until the end of the year to start thinking about where you wanna go in your life or what's your next move. You can do that at any given time throughout the year. So I think that the concept come from, comes from like the new year, all things new, wanting a fresh start, which is great, um, but I really think that you can do this regardless of what time of year it is. Um, but I did want to come to you guys to talk about goals. And so many people do start on goals um, around this time. I wanted to talk to you guys about setting goals. Um, I feel like, you know, like I said before, there's no right or wrong time. And I also feel like there's no such thing as a goal too big or a goal too small. It really just depends on where you see yourself and, you know, where you want to go in your life so if you want to accomplish something big i feel like it only means that you have to break that down in smaller steps and set dates so you know for this part of the goal i can complete this aspect by this date the next phase by this date just break it down um if it's something small i don't feel like i really don't feel like there's a such thing as a small goal to be quite honest with you i think any goal that you Accomplish is something big, you know what I mean? Anything that you put steps to to accomplish to me is a big deal And I feel like we don't celebrate the small things enough Let's say that you're a smoker and you're trying to stop smoking, you know Let's say you started smoking a pack a day now. You're only smoking the half a pack to me That's a big deal like some people will say oh, but they're still smoking But I don't look at it like that, you know Some people will look at the glass half empty some people will see it half full. I'm a half full girl half full girl so I just really feel like um, it depends on how you look at things. But for me, there's there's really no such thing as a small goal. You know, there might be a goal that you can reach more quickly than another goal, which is fine. You just put steps in place, put dates, and stay committed. Um, I think as long as you're realistic to where you are in this very moment and to where you want to go and what needs to be put into place or what you need to do to reach that goal, I feel like if you're doing that and you're putting forth the effort and you're consistent, I really feel like you can't fail. Like that's how I feel about it. Um, something was introduced to me back in 2017 and it's called a vision board and this really changed my life. It really changed the way I think about manifestation and goals. And I wanted to talk to you guys about that as well. So I made my first vision board back in 2017. And basically what a vision board is, instead of like making a list, you are illustrating or using illustrations from magazines to depict what you wanna see happen in your life. So let's say you wanna buy a house. You could cut out a picture in a magazine of a house or a for sale sign or a sold sign that symbolizes you purchasing clothes on your first home, okay? Um, let's say a goal of yours was to travel more. Um, you could put a picture of a beach or whatever, you know, just to give you guys an example. But I made a vision board and I hope you all believe me when I say this. I made a vision board in 2017 going into the 2018 year. And when I say so much of that vision board I've accomplished, it's almost kind of scary. You know what I mean? Because it's like... I, I really did this. Like, I, I believed I could do it then, but to see these things manifest and to come to fruition, like, it's a beautiful thing. And that's why I believe in them so much. So in 2017, I'll give you guys some of the things that I put on my vision board. One of the things were to um, get a, be a better paying job, get a better job that would not stress me out. At that time in my life, I was um, at an employer that I really didn't feel like valued me as a person. Um, didn't value me as an employee. I had a micromanager. 
and I just knew that there was something better for me. And so that was one of the things that I put on my vision board and lo and behold, I ended up getting a new position that paid more, that I actually enjoy more and I'm still there today. Also, one of the things that I put down, because I am a believer in the Christian faith and I wanted to become stronger in my walk with the Lord, I wanted to get baptized. I did that. Um, I wanted to travel more. I've done that. Like all these things, things that I really wanted to accomplish and I really felt strongly about, I, I was able to do them. And those are just some of the things that I was able to do. Like I'm so grateful for being introduced to vision boards. Um, if you guys want to know more about vision boards, I encourage you to look it up. You can look it up on YouTube. You can look it up on Google. I think I'll actually um, create a, a video showing you guys kind of how to create a vision board. But as I've said, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. All you're doing is looking at images, or you can even create them. I'm looking at images and magazines that symbolize things that you want to manifest in your life. And trust me, you can do it. I'm rooting for everybody. I want everybody to take C's. 2020 okay like I'm excited for everybody I'm excited for me and the things that I know that God's gonna do for me and I look forward to you guys in my next video bye